Right, am I back? Are you seeing me? Are we there? Are we there yet? Doodle -doo. Tell me if you can see me or not. Hopefully I'm back. <laughs> Hi Fox, yes I'm back. Hey. Sorry about that. Uh, I, I think that was whether it was my broadband or just Xbox Live fell over. But I had to restart everything, which is annoying. <sighs> Never mind. It's all fun and games. Unless, of course, there we go. Right, get back on now. Let's try that again. I've got no idea. You're blurry. Am I? I shouldn't be. I've not had a beer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're in caps, by the way, Lynn. <laughs> okay, who probed the stream pipe hole? Says Quano Man. TK says, "Yay!" Yes, I don't know what happened there. My apologies. Weird, wasn't it? I think it was just Xbox Live that fell over. Perhaps a little bit it fell over a little bit, maybe. Reset my, my uh, route map. So, yeah, I don't know what that was. Uh, screen is blurry, I know, thanks, says Lynn. Is it blurry? Is It It should be nice and clear. Or is it? Is it you? <laughs> Have you got your glasses on, Lynn? Have you taken your glasses off again or something? Uh, okay, so anyway, let's... Uh, we ruined the process of checking out the system, weren't we? You may have to rename this to part three. Yeah, and that, and that I'll have to rename them all later. It's all just gone. Let's just be honest. Tits up all night tonight. All day today has been a complete spong, hasn't it? It's all gone horribly wrong. Right, so I don't even know what system this is now. I'm just completely confused as to what we've scanned and haven't. Do, do, do. 4 of 14, the same. Might have scanned these already and doing it again, but never mind. So anyway, now it's evening times. What did you all have for your dinner? If you've had your dinner already, what did you have? Tell me with words of all the things that you applied to your face. I, of course, if you watch earlier on, if you'll be aware, uh, Mama Fox said she fancied McDonald's. So we, in fact, had McDonald's. It was adequate. It's the only way you can describe McDonald's is adequate. You know, it's it's a momentary moment of eating and then next thing you know you're hungry again. It's not really food, let's just be honest. But like I said, we don't have a Burger King. I'm not driving all the way to goddamn Warrington for Burger King, so it's McDonald's it is. So what have you guys had for your tea? If you've had your tea or dinner, what did you have? Do, 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 do. Yeah, we've done this system already. I've got to scan it again, though. It didn't save it. Rocky body. System scan do, 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 do. Jamie Burns said I had Burger King for the first time today. I thought it was all right. Yeah, I, I like that. I like their chips, their fries. Uh, not terraformable. Don't care. Gas giant. So none of those are interesting. Rocky Ice World, Icy Body, no, not terraformable, don't care, don't care, that entire system is of no interest to me at all, never mind, moving on. Drive charging. Let's go to the next one. How many jumps have I got? 89 to my target. Uh, uh. Chicken Drumstick says Aiden Jones, nice. Chicken Tikka Masala with a lot of rice says Multidemon123, yes. Nice bit of chicken tikka. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Chicken tikka. Tikka tikka. Nice bit of chicken tikka. Uh, I'll get to the chat again and check what else we've been having. Do my refuelings. Twenty bodies in this system. I bet they're all boring. 
I really do seem to be in a boring stretch of the of the area at the moment because everything's just gas giants and rocky bodies. It's totally dull. Um, Lynn Dipple hasn't eaten yet. Fish and chips from the chippy said Zasta. Good girl. Uh, I had fish and chips on, on uh, Sunday when my family came over. I had three smoky big well three big sausages that they call smokies because they smoke them a little bit. So three of those. Steak and kidney pudding, chips and gravy. It was most delicious. Uh, what else are you guys having? Uh, G'day from Sydney, Australia, says Ray Davis. Ray Davis. G'day, Ray. Cheers, Rob, mate. Welcome to the stream. And you're more than welcome. What time is it there, Ray? I'm going to guess it's about, what, 9 or 10 a.m., something like that, maybe? So, good morning. Good morning, bro. Do 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 do. Uh, where are we? If you are just joining me, this is the third chunk of streaming today because we keep having problems that keep losing the stream. Uh, I'm just playing Elite Dangerous. I'm pootling around. I'm doing exploration, so there's not a lot going on. I'm well out of the human inhabited area, so there's no other ships around, no anything else. Just scanning and probing. I like to get my probes out. Uh, and I'm just hanging out with you guys in chat. Uh, as always, if you uh, weren't here at the start, if you're watching this, you can see there is a chat box in the right hand side of the screen. That's nothing to do with the actual game. Uh, that is chat for this stream. If you can't see the chat and where you can type in the chat on YouTube, simply click the little YouTube icon. If you're watching this anywhere other than YouTube, click the little YouTube icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and that will take you to the YouTube page where the stream is where you can actually join in the live chat and it's jolly good fun in the chat lots of lovely people uh, if you don't know what the funny coloured bar at the top is where it says Aviad Madar Aviad is one of my followers and he is the current stream boss we're doing a stream boss battle basically uh, you have to work to get his health down to zero and whoever gets his health down to zero will win two to three hundred quids worth of uh, Games Workshop or Forge World kits, books, materials, whatever you want from Games Workshop and Forge World. Uh, basically, how you get his health down, you can either subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. You can do a super chat, which is the little dollar sign at the bottom of the chat window. Uh, that's also a good way to ask me a question because I'll see it and make a little coloured uh, little colour box around your comment. Uh, or you can do a tip through the Streamlabs tip jar, which at the bottom of the screen it says streamlabs.com forward slash model making guru. And each time you do a tip or a super chat, it takes a bit of his health off. And the, the more you put through as a tip or a super chat, the more of his health you take off. All the money raised goes towards the pot that is then what you win if you become the new stream boss. Uh, and it's usually about two or three hundred quid. And you can then choose whatever Games Workshop or Forge World kits you want. And I will basically order them for you using the budget from the pot. So if you want to win yourself a shed load of, of Games Workshop or Forge World stuff, get putting your super chats and your tips through. His health is currently at 72,714 out of 100,000 healths. So get them through. Whoever gets him to zero, you become a stream boss and you win all that shizzle. Right, so these are terraformable, so I want to scan these. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. So 9, 10, 11 and 12 are all terraformable. So I want to probe them. Probe. Because uh, if I probe them, I get more money. Gentlemen, activate four sets of probes. Time to probe! Intensive probing action! I keep making that joke and I will continue to make that joke. Uh, let's have a look. Hot dog says TK. Ooh, how many hot dogs TK did you eat? Tell me five. Uh, the neighbour's cat but she doesn't know it yet says Quano Man. Nice. So Chinese then basically. Uh, Fox go to the Virgo cluster. Lots of galaxies. I'd be surprised if there was a galaxy in the Milky Way. Did you mean say galaxy? You didn't mean say galaxy, did you? Uh... Wait, the Virgo cluster, isn't that a galaxy? Isn't that a cluster of stars outside the Milky Way? I've only got the Milky Way, I'm afraid, Lynn. Oh no, the probes times four, says Lynn. Uh, 
I'm basically, if you weren't here at the start, I'm basically working my way slowly, slowly round the outer areas of the Milky Way. My plan is to be out in space for probably a good year or two, real time, uh, and just gradually build up a ridiculous amount of astronomical data that I can then cash in when I return to um, civilized space and get rich. A couple of months of, of navigation and exploration gave me about half a billion credits the other day, so... A uh, big cluster of galaxies says, yeah, I can't leave the Milky Way. I'm only in the Milky Way, uh, Lynn, in this. That's all you've got, just the Milky Way, so. I have no options. TK says, two buns, four sausages, and the sauerkraut. How can I have four sausages but two buns? Are you, are you, are you double? I can't make that joke. I can make that joke. Are you putting two sausages in one bun there? TK. Please, just, just do it. In, I can't do it out loud on the stream. I've got to get monetized. Somebody in chat, just make all the jokes, please. Because I can't. <laughs> you're, you're double sausaging it, aren't you? Right, seven probes. We can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have launched all the probes. All the probes are launched. Let's see if we can get it within seven. Okay, never mind, says Lynn. Yeah, yeah, it's just a Milky Way, Lynn. So it's, uh, trust me, it's, I'm never going to explore everything in my lifetime. Surface scan complete. So that's that one. Uh, that was nine. Was it, oh, I forgot what I needed now. I needed, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. 9, 10, 11, 12. Those four. By themselves, they wouldn't be valuable things worth scanning, but if they're terraformable, that can put the, the, the income I can make from them up vastly. Yeah, yeah, but that just got really weird just now. <laughs> yeah. Weird is good. If I don't make somebody at least slightly uncomfortable during this, then I'm not doing my job. Probe. Activate more probes on standby. Probe-tacular. Probing is not complete. Further probing action is required. Evening all, says Dad. Welcome, Dad. Seven probes again. Wow, these are greedy little things, aren't they? They're not that small. One, two, three. Oh, four a bit low, that one. And do this one here. Five, six, seven. There we go. Ba, 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 da, ba. Quantum Man says, uh, my, my sphinter. My sphinter. What's a sphinter? Has developed a nerves twitch in response to the word probe. Oh, sphincter. I wonder what you, I thought that was then. You're getting very rude now in the chat. I love it. <laughs> uh, 9, 10, 11. I've forgotten again. I've already forgotten. Oh, God damn it. 9, 10, 11, 12, Fox. Just don't. 9, 10, 11, 12. Right. Simple num numerical sequence. It's not hard. Who uh no, where's 11? 9, 10. That's 12. Where's 11? 11's further away than 12, so we'll do 12 first. Uh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Uh, steady more probes. Have them on hot standby. 9, 10, 11, 12, Fox, says Lynn. Thank you. Nine, then eleven and twelve. Yeah, that's it. I can count up to ten in German. After that, is anybody's guess? Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. Other numbers. Zwanzig. That's twenty, I think, isn't it? Uh, 
9, 10, 12, 11, says Phil Lewis, technically. That's correct. Because 11 is further away than 12. Because of course it is. I'm going to have like three separate videos from all this. Elf Zwolf. Elf, what's that? 11 and 12? Elf Zwolf. I like Zwolf. Alejandra Rabago is in. Welcome, Alejandra. I have many, many issues I help. I need help with spelling being the least of them. I do love the music in this game. It's so awesome. It's just so wide open space. Hopefully these two are too close together, but I doubt it. Uh, activate my probes. Probe time. Only the finest of probes for my surveys. Dreizehn, Vierzehn, Fünfzehn, etc., etc. I'm too tired to think now. I shouldn't ask. I shouldn't prompt conversations where I'm required to think. It doesn't do me any favours. Yeah. That's probe, says Lynn, and Phil Lewis says probelicious. Probetacular. What's this seven probes nonsense for each one of these? This has been awkward now. Uh, uh, oops, missed. I can't help thinking about, like, you know, the torpedo they fired at the Genesis planet every time I do this. All these planets I'm probing, I'm expecting Spock to emerge at some point. ASMR gaming. There's very little content in space, though, to engage in. Yeah, it's... Once you're away from the human populated area, uh, it is just European truck simulator in space. Uh, I need 11. Wow, 11's ages away. But it depends what you want. I've not that map now. I've done that one, done that one, done that one, that one. That one. That's cool. Uh, it depends what you want. I mean, I quite enjoy the travelling around the, the, the occupied areas, all the spaceports and stuff, but I also just like flying around in empty space, mapping, exploring. It just kind of works for me. It's a nice chill out thing. ASMR Gaming says, I know my stuff. They're a quadruple ranked uh, elite explorer made over 3 billion, so I know my stuff. I just hit my ex uh, elite first elite rank because I am an elite explorer rank. Yay! Combat rank novice because I haven't done much. And trade rank merchant because, again, I haven't done much. I've done most exploration, so. Do, 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 do. The Distant Worlds 3 subreddit has a discussion around mechanics devs can put in. Uh, Phil Lewis says, is that Holly Fox? Yes, it's the actor that played Holly in Red Dwarf. That's my Kovas voice. I figured, why not? It's really good. The only downside to it is he's a bit quiet sometimes on some things he says. Sometimes it's hard to hear some of the, some of the lines of dialogue, which is a little bit annoying. Like, for example, System Scan Complete is really quiet, and you often can't hear it. So... Yeah, I'm just um, I'm just one of those people. I like just pootling about. I like the European truck simulator aspect. Whizzing around, not doing anything too interesting, I suppose. Not really great live stream material, but I figured I'm doing this anyway. Might as well get my followers to hang out with me in chat if they want to, and we can have a good time. Because it's either that, because you know this channel, don't forget, is mostly model making. So when I'm not playing this, I'm doing my usual video content and model making. So if I'm taking a few hours of downtime, it's either I just go and play some games and nobody hears from me, or I can play some games and hang out with my with my with my fam, MMG fam. 
Corner Man says, with the, uh, the voice and face of Bill Oddy, I think the game developer should have the goodies theme tune just for you, Fox. <laughs> goodies! A goodie, do, 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 That'd be good. What they need to do is contact Keith Mansfield and somehow get him to re-record the new Granada theme and get the rights to use it and then I will give them all the money I have just to have that piece of music added to the game. The new Granada theme by Keith Mansfield. <laughs> Hello, not paying attention. Pay attention, 007. Seven? Yeah, seven. Thought so. Again, if you're wondering why my probing action is a bit jerky, who were? Uh, it's because I'm doing this on a HOTUS, so while HOTUS is great for flying, it's not so great for navigating menus. Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh yeah, easy peasy, there you go. Uh, if you just joined us uh, after the start and I'm wondering what my plan is, I am currently here in the Sanguinius Rim uh, after a few months between um, the Rosette Nebula, Rosette Nebula, the Seagull Nebula, that's the wrong one. I've uh, been back and forth between the Seagull, the Rosette and where I roughly am now over the last few months, just catching data and stuff. I've managed to snag loads and loads of Earth likes and so on that nobody else has claimed. I uh, haven't been back to the bubble for I don't know, about, about, about eight months. Well, my plan now is just to basically wander around the outside air edge, edges of the Milky Way. Just pootle my way around over the next, I don't know, year, year and a half. Not really in any hurry. Just pootle all the way around, kind of on the edge, and get myself back to the bubble eventually. Probably in about a year or two. It's going to be a couple of years, I reckon. Because I'm, I'm just going through and scanning. I'm not scanning everything. Uh, because not everything is worth scanning. I'm really just sticking to the, the good stuff. You know, Earth likes water worlds, uh, metal rich, and terraformables. And that's about it, really. Um, uh, and, uh, uh, what do you call it? Ammonia worlds. Uh, oh, what was that? Somebody did something? That was Mark Solon has subscribed. Thank you very much, Mark Solon, for subscribing. Also, Raymond Cochran. Uh, oh, you subscribed a couple of hours ago. Well, welcome to you and thank you for subscribing as well. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. This is predominantly a model making uh, channel, model making tutorial channel. But I do like my video games. And I will do some video game content like this from time to time. Since I figured out how to stream elite and talk to you guys at the same time and everything else, I really must turn notifications off when I do this. I keep forgetting every damn time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll probably do a lot of this because it just means I can play my game. But hang out with my map with my fam. And I like hanging out with my fam while I'm playing games. Because I figured, you know, it's like, well, if I, if I just played this game, you guys wouldn't hear from me. So why not why not do both? Ooh, that's pretty, I like that. Uh, why not hang out with you guys and play a game at the same time? Because video gaming is my is my break from the daily grind. And I say daily grind, what I do on a daily basis, you know, model making and videos, making YouTube videos is not a grind by any long distance, any definition of the word. But it's like anything. Even a job you love doing, you sometimes need to take time out and do something else just for yourself. And that's what I do when I do my video games. However, I can still hang out with you guys while I do it. 
So my distraction from the everyday grind, which isn't really the word I want to use, but my distraction from the everyday routine still involves you guys. Because you're my fam, dude. Oh, that's a pretty colour. I like that. Uh, you are the fam. The MMG fam. Do -do 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 do what have we got here? It's kind of another boring system. I've seemed to have hit this vein of really boring gas giant rocky world and ice world planet uh, ice moons after having such a big run of earth likes and ammonia worlds and water worlds it just seems to be on this run of boring systems now if i wasn't streaming this right now i guarantee i would have found like seven earth worlds earth like worlds in this one system uh, and all the systems before would have been full of water worlds and ammonia worlds and yeah. When the camera's not on, I find all the good stuff. When the camera's on, I get I get all the boring things that you guys don't find interesting. Yeah. Uh, not terraformable. Don't care. Don't care about any of those. They're all boring. Don't care about that. Don't care about mm, that. That's just a boring icy body. Boring system. Nothing there worth scanning. There we go. Shift drive charging. Uh, what's chat doing? Boink, says Zadster. Boink! Journey of the Sorcerer should play from time to time. Zadster says the full length version. Yes, the full length version. Uh, TK's model says, been playing Terraria while waiting on the micro set Soul stuff to do its work. Haven't played a PC game in ages. Yeah. Uh, I don't play PC games just because my PC isn't designed for gaming. My PC is designed for work, so video editing, Photoshop, Fuel and I 100% need my computer for my job and I can't afford for it to have any problems so it's not for games for me. It's purely for the work and the internet. Gaming's my, I'm a console gamer for me. Uh, uh, Jamie Bones says, speaking of ASMR, what about Bob Ross? What about Bob Ross? There is nothing bad to be said about Bob Ross. Another boring system. It's all just rocky ice worlds and stuff. Ugh. Come on, game. Throw me a freaking bone here. Give me something interesting for the love of dog. Uh, kind of, you know, need something interesting to go and scan. I need to scratch my probing itch. I'm in need of a good probe. Wait, no. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, two out of ten. Oh, there's something down there. Nope, that's not. Hmm. Are they all going to be behind the star? Because that would suck. That would suck a bit right royally. They can't all be obscured by the star, surely. Hmm. Where are you? I need to find you now. I can't see you anywhere. Okay, so there's eight objects in here. Um, I just can't be bothered. Let's just go to the next one. <clears throat> there was nothing there of any great import anyway. Let's just move on to the next one, shall we? Uh, I blow up battleships or run through Diablo when my mojo is low, but PC only, says Sergeant Bowes. Uh, Lynn says, hi, Bill. A good probe result, anyway," says Zadster. Yeah, I could have, I could have moved around a bit and tried to find those out other objects, but they were kind of boring anyway. I'm getting a bit bored with the systems it's giving me now. I need some interesting things to scan. I need to make some monies. I need to shake my money maker. Oh, so I want to give you guys something interesting to look at. I've only found, I think, three ammonia worlds so far. Possibly. Fuel scoop disengaged. Let's have a look. How many ammonia worlds have I found? Uh, let's have a look. Found oh one. 
I'm sure I found more than... Oh, no, wait, I've, I've discovered one. I found three, but two of them are claimed. Uh, yeah. I found a lot more than one Earth-like. I don't know why this isn't actually up to date. I found... I'm not actually quite sure how this whole codex works. I will be honest. I found many. Oh, here we go. Right, we've got something interesting for us. We have... Oh, possibly an Earth-like. Uh, oh... Oh, could be an ammonia world. Might not be. Might be a water world. Ooh. Ooh, excitement. Now, this could be interesting, you see. Might have an Earth-like. And oh, that's probably a rocky ice world. It's, it's near enough to be just a rocky ice world. But it's on the... Oh, let's find out. Let's go and do some scanning. This could be interesting now, this system. Ask and you shall receive. Let's get all these little clusters out of the way first. All that nonsense out of the way. Right, what's next? <clears throat> uh, we have, let's have a look and see what goodies are in this system. We have, I don't know what this is because it's telling me all about the belt clusters that I scanned. Let's just sit and wait now for this to update, shall we? There's another belt cluster. And a belt cluster. And a belt cluster. And they, they need to work out the UI on this bit, because this is kind of annoying. I've got to wait for it to stop telling me about all the belt clusters before I can see what this is. Right, this is a rocky ice world after all that. Oh, God, you know. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Uh, yeah, they need, to, they need to work that out, that bit of the UI, because that's not quite ideal, really. Oh, that made a rude shape, almost. Uh, right, where are we? Let's do that. It's up here first. Do 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 do. We have rocky body. Don't care. Oops. Rocky body. Don't care. What next? We have the rocky bodies again. Yeah, that's interesting. Not caring too much about rocky bodies right now. There are much more interesting treats to be had in this system, I think. Eh, hey, rocky bodies. Whoa, rocky body. Little rocky things orbiting now, isn't it? I think this star. Okay, brain sometimes just doesn't want to work. There we go. Oh, the imprecision of using outer stick for this. Oh, oh, it's not been claimed. I don't think that's been claimed by anyone. Oh, I am. I'm having this. I'm also acutely aware that there's nothing stopping anyone watching the stream now going to finding this and claiming it first. And please don't. Just don't. It's not cool to do that. Or oh, Ammonia World. Yes. This may get interesting. Uh, 15, 22. So we've still got more to find. Let's find the next lot. Ammonia World. I take it all back. It's being nice and friendly. Now it's giving me things to look at. Giving me interesting things. Uh, although it's going to be another one of these ones that takes me forever to find anything. I've got everything there. Yes. Uh, next, next. Those clusters go all the way out of here. What's going on here? Very spread out system. Now, there's no way I'm I'm leaving anything untouched here because there's potential for. A, Whatever that is, that's probably just a gas giant. Hmm. Is it going to be behind the star? I've not missed anything there. Come on. Give up your secrets. Give them to me. Give me all your marbles. Hmm. That's annoying. Come on. 
There's still a whole mess of things. Oh, there we go. There's something. Yes. Hopefully seven things in here. That'd be nice. Oops. Oops. Missed. 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 Rocky body. Okay, so it might not be an Earth-like and a water world or an ammonia world. It might just be the one ammonia world. But you know what? That's one of the most valuable things in this game. I will happily take it. Very happily take it. Also one of the rarest things as well. They're very, very rare. Ammonia world. Where all your dreams come true. No, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, oh, Kenneth's in. Hey, Kenneth. Sorry I'm late. I was watching Dad's YouTube channel. Awesome stuff, Dad. Yes, Dad. Go click on Dad's name. Right click. He's got 66 subscribers. He's stuck on 66 subscribers. I need two more bodies. Uh, go and give him two more subscribers. He just needs two of you who don't have already subscribed to his channel. What am I saying two more? Give him ten more. Give him twenty more. I don't know why I said two. Because I needed two more. Uh, last one. System scan yes, let's have a look at this system. There is my ammonia world. Uh, that's not terraformable, but it's metal rich, so we'll be having a bit of that. Thank you very much. Uh, class gi gas giant, don't care about those. Gas giant, don't care about that. Where's the ammonia world? It must be one of these. There. Nope, not over there. Okay. Is it one of these moons? That's unusual. An ammonia world? I did scan an ammonia world. Uh be the first time I've come across on being an actual moon of a gas giant. That's interesting. There we go. That's weird. Normally they're just standalone planets. It's not off. I've never seen one before that's been a moon of a gas giant. Interesting. We'll get this metal rich one first because this is probably nearest to us by far. Uh, that one there. It's only 251 light seconds away. Get to the chopper. 251 light seconds. We can do this. Get this little puppy scanned first. It's not the, oh, it was right near the sun. We're blinded. Ammonia World sounds like a really bad theme park. It does. Uh, no, thank you, Dad. Thank you so much for being you and allowing me to show your modelling journey. Oh, he says, no, thank you, Dad. Okay. We could say the same, Kenneth. We could say thank you for allowing us to show your modelling journey. Kenneth's an awesome model maker. Awesome painter. And he's got a great Instagram channel with 10 trillion followers. You need to go and follow him on Instagram. But yeah, go and subscribe to Dad's channel and everybody else's channel. Subscribe to, uh, subscribe to everybody. Uh, Sergeant Bones says, God, when I think about it, the last good space game I played on PC was the Wing Commander series. Space! No, that wasn't Wing Commander, was it? That was something else. Oh, thank you, Fox, says Kenneth. No. Oh dear, Fox, did you get a case of ammonia? I will do in a minute. Look at this little, tiny little spud here. Completely black on this side because it's tiny. Fua Aim Wur D481. Such a good name for a small blob. Activate probe devices. Probing will ensue shortly. Closing in on target now, sir. Speed reduced. Probes active. Six probes. Oh, the sun's right in the way. I can't. Oh. That's a bugger. I can't see the marker because the sun's right in the way. Oh, hang on. Hang on. No, I didn't want to do it. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Fudge. Oh, well. Near enough. Well, that's all gone to pot straight away. Who put a bloody great big star there? Idiot. Ugh. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. Come on. Oh, I didn't want to press the... Oh, why did I fire another one? Oh, well, he's done it now anyway. Cool. That was a waste of time, wasn't it? 
Uh, anything interesting on there? No. Right, so now we need our little water world. I mean, ammonia world, even. Ammonia world! Uh, take a couple of minutes to get there. Uh, I was playing the other day. Uh, I was playing. Before when, when I hurt my finger. I was playing uh, Borderlands the pre-sequel. Which I played ages ago when it first came out and I forgot all about it. And I was laughing my head off because it was it was done by uh, Gearbox Australia. So all the voice artists are Australian. And there was just like one guy was he ran up to me and as I was shooting him, he's like a sort of typical psycho kind of bandit type. Uh, and they have like little lines, but in this I'd never heard it before. But he came up to me and he's he's running up to me going, "Cup of tea, love, cup of tea, cup of tea, cup of tea," in this Australian accent. And I was absolutely giggling my head off. And then he killed me, which wasn't fun. Cup of tea, love. Cup of tea, cup of tea, cup of tea. As I'm shooting his head off. I'm like, what a fantastic line to just give a character. <laughs> Ammonia world where all your double glazing needs are met. Call now. Ask for Eileen Bilton. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with that. I'm making stuff up now. Do, 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 do. Dad, what did you have for your dinner? And Kenneth, what are you having for your dinner? Because I'm going to guess it's about 10am there, Kenneth, isn't it? So, what are you having for your dinner tonight? How's Alex, by the way? Say hi to Alex as well. Give him a scritch behind the ear from me. Don't give him one from Dad. He doesn't like Dad. Give him a scritch behind the ear from me. Uh, Lynn, how are you settling to your new place? I forgot to ask you. How are you getting in the, on, in the new place? Are you in? I assume you're in. I think you're in, aren't you? By now. Oh, not Eileen again, says Dad. Eileen Bilton. Dave's in, butcher that model. What ho, chaps? Uh, Tom Brammer has subscribed. Tom Brammer, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, you're more than welcome to uh, to subscribe if you want to, if you're not already subscribed. Thank you very, very much. I love you very deeply, Tom Brammer, and all my subscribers. In a proper, you know, man-to-man, -man platonic belt buckles a metre apart way. I'm, I don't take that too seriously. Yes, thank you for subscribing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you subscribe because it's cool video game content, uh, welcome. This channel is mostly model making, but I do play video games as a as a, a sort of decompression thing, and I've decided to stop streaming them when I play. Don't expect great gaming skills. It's mostly me just pootling about. Uh, Lynn says, no, not yet. She starts moving at the weekend. Cool. Good luck. I'll come and give you a hand, but <laughs> it's not going to happen, is it? Doodle -doo -doodle 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 -doodle. Now I've got to tell you, Lynn, uh, not that it said really makes a difference. Oh, it might do. Uh, I was having a, a conversation on email with one of my followers the other day, with someone, who was going to send me, or was going to, in the next few months, send me a care package. And he comes from... Um, uh, that part of America where the saguaro cactus grows. And my brain's gone. Uh, and he said, yeah, I'm going to send you a care package from Arizona. That's it. That's Arizona. I'm going to send you a care package from Arizona. So I looked up and I was like, well, that's where Saguaro cactuses come from. So he mentioned that. And then it, it, it's always the way I, I made a joke about Saguaro cactuses and cacti. And instantly then, for the next three hours, I spent on YouTube watching videos about Saguaro cactuses. They're awesome. They're incredible. I watched the I watched a news clip where a guy had one. He just moved into a house somewhere in Arizona, and he just moved in. And one of the reasons he bought the house was like a 35, 40 foot tall saguaro cactus in his front yard that could have been like 200 years old. And within two weeks of moving in, it fell over and trashed his car. It was like oh, and I was like, yeah, those things weigh like a ton or many tons. They're awesome. Right, ammonia world. Six probes, efficiency target. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. You've been probed. 
feel the impact of my probes. And Dipple said, lol, yes they are. Yeah, so I found myself just like sitting there for like about three or four hours a couple of days ago just watching videos about Swarrow cactuses or cacti. And it's like, wow, I, I need to I need to go to places like that. And then I saw the bit of news footage of the bobcat that was on top of a saguaro because it tried to get out of the way of a mountain. It was being chased by a mountain lion. <laughs> and, oh, that, I know I need to check. Am I the first person to discover that? Oh, <gasps> Nobody's claimed that. If I get to a space station before anybody else, I get to get my name on that ammonia world. So I'm taking it on trust, you guys watching, that you don't suddenly write that down and go and find it and claim it. Because I'd be very sad. They are quite rare ammonia worlds. I don't want you to spoil my fun, so please don't. If you are watching, please don't go and claim that. What's that up there? Burp. Oops, excuse me. Any messages from anyone? No. Uh, oh, don't forget. I meant to say, don't forget. If you are an Xbox player, I do have a squadron. Me, Chris, and Paul set up a squadron. It's called uh, the Adeptus Ineptum, or you can use the call sign BLEP. Uh, all you need to do is go into your game. You've got to be on Xbox. Go into your game. Go into Squadrons. Go down to Browse Squadrons and do a search for in Adeptus Ineptum or Blep. And it will find it. We've got five members so far. Uh, we have uh, myself, Dog Sounds, the Grand Fromage. We've got Paul, who's Chewbacca. And we've got Chris A. He's Ace. They're both Primarchs. And we've got Richard Gibbs and the Quano Man are both our two Canadian troopers. There are two real people. Obviously, we're real people, but we're, we don't count. So we've got two lovely people joining us. Uh, the Quano Man and Richard Gibbs. There's no real benefit to being in a, uh, a squadron. Other than one day we will get... I don't know why I did that. One day we will get a, a fleet carrier, maybe. Uh, and we'll get one of them sorted out. And we'll do wonderful things with it. It'll be like a mobile... thing. Shift drive charging. Mobile platform, you can all join in. I don't think there's any other benefit to a squadron, really. You don't want impacted probes? Guaranteed to make the eyes water. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Go, 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 Foxed. Uh, LD says, afternoon, evening, and good night, folks. May your god go with you. Fox is decompressing, it's a bugger, then, Benz. <laughs> The impact of your probe makes me want to warm and tingly, says the Quano man. It would take me years to find that sun slash planet slash whatever, says Zadster. No, you just type it in into the galaxy map and it you set a route map. It's not that hard. But it's kind of taken on trust really as a kind of honour system. That if you watch somebody streaming and they discover something like that, that you don't then immediately go and find it and claim it because it's kind of not it's not the gentlemanly thing to do really, is it? It's not cricket. Uh, Ildi, hey Dad, it was a good day. I actually got the second part of the Dreadnought from Conquest. Says Ildi, welcome Ildi. Uh, da -da. Dad says me too, just painting it. I'm so far far behind on the Warhammer Conquest thing. Considering I'm doing like a video build series of the whole thing, it's pathetic that I'm so fucking far. Oh, I swore. I do apologise. Oh, I said a bad word. Oh, I just came out from nowhere. Uh, I'm so far behind on the whole thing. It's just ridiculous, really. I did I did, a, I did a swears. I don't know why. Came from nowhere. There we go. I don't care about those. Uh, we've got five objects in this system. And one more. One more for one more. That's over there. And that is... Gas giant. Yeah, gas giant. There we go. Nothing interesting there. Moving on. Oh, actually, let's just double check. Uh, triple star system. Uh, icy body. No of interest. There's gas giant. Cut. No, there we go. Nothing, well, nothing worth probing. My probes have gone cold, lads. Not been used in a bit, it's just use it or lose it. F bomb, I know, I don't know where that came from. I come into Fox Swearing, says Cy Reynolds. Hey Cy, tut tut. I know, sometimes I'm just relaxed and happy and talking, and then it just comes out. 
the thing you have to realise about me is that in real life, uh, I swear like a trooper. Now I need to ask you, can you still hear me? Because my, my volume meters are saying nothing, to give me no indications of any volume. Are you actually still getting my audio? Please tell me in the test, in the uh, chat if you're still getting audio. Ooh, don't know what happened there. Weirdness. Uh, are you still getting audio? Okay. Can you still hear me? Uh, yes, yes, says Dad. Yep, I hear you. Good, it's just my... It's not giving me any indications to how loud I am, so... I often think, wonder if sometimes it's just broken. Because you never know. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping. Pardon, says Phil Lewis. Fox still talking, says TK. Okay. Don't ever stop. Uh, we've got 16 people watching, 18 people, something like that. Cool. Uh, oh, 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 we have probably a water world, I would... Ooh, maybe not. Might be an ammonia world. <gasps> probably won't be. Probably a water world. We might get another ammonia world. That'd be awesome. That'd be fun. After whinging for so long about getting bugger all, now I'm getting all the good things. Content. Probably going to be a water world. Oh, look at the rings on that. That's gorgeous. I'm going to have to check that out. Get a photograph of that, I think. Uh... I do like it. Some of, the, some of the planets you get are fantastic to look at. Like some of the ringed gas giants are just incredible. Some of them have enormous rings. Anything else in that little system there? No. Moving on. Oop. Big blep of them here. What have we got? Rocky body. Another rocky body. Uh, some things here. Many things. Many things. What wonderful things have we got here? Oh, this could be it. <gasps> Another ammonia world. Get their flock in. I said flock. I said flock. That was a. That was, I knew what I was doing then. Another ammonia world. I take it all back. Now I'm getting the interesting stuff. Do -do 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 -do. Yes, I was going to say before I discovered there's an ammonia world in there. Um, the one thing about doing YouTube is, in real life, I swear like a trooper all the time. It's just like part of my normal, you know, conversational English. But, of course, I try not to swear when I'm on the telly. But the thing is, if you're a person that naturally uses, you know, swears in an everyday context, not swearing is actually, and you don't have kids. I haven't got kids, so it's not like I'm primed not to swear normally. It's actually really hard. So it is really easy to occasionally slip and, you know, drop a bit of a rudy word every now and then. Two ammonia worlds. That's impressive. To get that, those two, that close together. That's quite impressive. Ooh, pretty. Fiery. Uh, well, two more to get. That one there, and there's one here. System scan. Right, let's see what we've got. You have to approach it like you do when you go see your nan, Fox. I have uh, to at uni. I swear, twenty four seven at home. Yeah, it's like you know. I say I don't have kids. I have nephews and stuff. I don't swear, but it's just sometimes it's, it's kind of hard. Uh, not terraformable. Not terraformable. What was that one? I'm a content. Metal content not terraformable. Is this going to be another moon that shouldn't be an ammonia world? No, it's that one there at the end. Mm, excellent. So 
have any of these terraformable? That one's not terraformable. Uh, that one is not. See, now I found an ammonia world orbiting a gas giant. I'm tempted not to just ignore objects orbiting gas giants anymore. Because you never know. So it's just the ammonia world on this system, but I might want to go and check out that brown dwarf because it looks fantastic. Uh, is it that one? I forgot which one it was now. It's this one, wasn't it? I might go and check this out first just to get a photograph because it looked fantastic. I think it was that one. It's on the way anyway. Uh, it's very hard not to swear at work when you're dealing with the public for a living. The boss takes a dim view of it for some strange reason, says David Butcher, that model. Yeah. I'm going to guess the first word of our newborn will start with an F. Our, as in Mrs. TK and mine. <laughs> Sir Reynolds says, I'm not concerned that you felt the need to clarify that, TK. <laughs> so are you going to spend three hours flying back to claim your planet, Fox? No, 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 no. I'm going to be out for a long time. I take my knocks. I say I take it on a gentleman's word that nobody watching will try and undercut me for these two ammonia worlds. You know, if one of you does, then you're a heel. Um, you know, then you're a bit of an ass. But if somebody does that, I mean, not one of you guys. I know you guys in the chat won't do that. But if somebody does, they could watch this and then go and claim it. You're an ass. But there's nothing I could do to stop it. I just take it on trust that we're all... Uh, gentlemen and gentlewomen and have a sense of honour someone else probably will that is not watching well the thing is the odds of actually finding it in the old days when you used to fly into a system honk the horn and see all the planets and then fly out again you could very very quickly find those kind of planets now you have to go into the system honk the horn and then do all that scanning to then find things like the earth likes and the ammonias so, given the fact there are, you know, 400 billion star systems, the actual odds of someone doing all that, getting to this exact system and finding that and scanning the same ammonia world by accident is kind of slim. Ooh, going to be going too fast. It's kind of slim, the odds. So, because you can't necessarily scan for ammonia world. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That is a fantastic angle to be looking at that planet. Look, at that is beautiful. Going to get a shot of that. Let me get closer. This is screenshot time now. Look at that. That is incredible. Let's slow down. Drop out of frame shift. Activate camera mode. question is where you want to put the ship. I never know where to put the ship. <laughs> uh, put it there. Taking a photograph, folks. Nothing to see here. Move along. Uh, let's get it all nice lined up and a nice photograph. Don't want to have the engines on or off. Uh... Well, the engines are kind of analog, on or off. Oops. Tweak it a little bit. I think that makes a nice photograph. Let's take a photograph. I wish they had this in game. It'd be a lot easier. Come on, hurry up. Screenshot. Any time now. Oh, what did it know? What did it, oh, oh, butt cheeks. Let me do that again then. Hang on. I pressed all the buttons wrong then. That went wrong, didn't it? 
Right, let's try that again. Let's get that back there. Get that over there. Twist it round a bit. Uh, that's quite a nice layout. I quite like that. Can we zoom in and out? Actually, let's try... compositions we bear bears oh, that's a very long name greetings from honolulu says we bear bears underscore ikakumon chushinka underscore love grizzly underscore you wow that's a hell of a name <laughs> i'd hate to, bet, to try and find that channel uh, hello honolulu says dad welcome uh, i'm hawaiian honolulu is my island though uh shaka bra says sergeant bones the wi-fi is awesome at my mother-in-law's i shall bid you good evening says Cy reynolds all right dude i'm waving i don't know why you can't see me thanks for coming in sorry you're going to having to fall out let's see if we can tilt this round a bit uh that'll do that'll do nicely there we go get some composition going on that's a nice photograph move it forward a bit there we go. I won't have the engines on this time. We'll see if it'll actually capture a screenshot this time, shall we? Is it going to bother? Why you no capture screenshot? I could just do it on my computer. I've just done a print screen on my... It won't be as nice. It won't be in 4K or anything. Oh. I spilled coffee on it. It's not captured a screenshot. Capture our screenshot. It's a really nice screenshot. You need to capture it. Gosh darn it. Unless, hang on. Uh, here we are. Let's try. I wonder if it's because I'm in 1080p. Put it in 4K. You won't notice a difference. Hopefully everything will keep streaming quite nicely. It won't break everything. Uh, but hopefully... It will take a screenshot now. Any time now. It's not going to take a screenshot, is it? Oh, that's really annoying. Oh, take another. I'll do another screen print on my computer anyway. Oh, that's frustrating. How much longer are you going to stream for, Fox? Says Jimmy Bone. I don't know, till I get bored. <laughs> or till I need to go for a great big Wii or something. Right, I'll put my settings back to normal. Oh, well, that was a waste of time. It didn't seem to want to do a screenshot. I don't know why. That's weird. That's really annoying. That was a beautiful screenshot as well. We need to go to uh, the one we want to find, which is the Ammonia World, where all your needs are made of wishes or something, I don't know. Uh, so we need to go into there. I meant to show you, by the way, uh, if, I do, if I do this, watching all of my weapons pop out. How cool is that? How cool is that? Oh, yeah, I like that. How cool is that? Anyway, shut up. Let's do some, let's do some zoomage. Uh, Quano Man says already in 4K goodness. I could stream in 4K. Um, there's no problem with me having the Xbox and you know everything else in 4K, but there's no point because I'm out. I'm, the actual stream itself is in 1080p. Um, although I could stream it in 4K if I wanted to. And I've got the broadband to do it, but I just find the connection between the Xbox and the PC and Streamlabs and YouTube is just a lot more reliable if you just stick to 1080p. When you go into 4K, it does seem to make it a bit wibbly wobbly and a bit, bit you know, arty farty and fall overy prone. So, yeah. Cool weapons poppy out, he says Lynn Dipple. Oh, yeah. Ulf Johnson, good evening. Welcome, Ulf. 
Off to bed. Busy day tomorrow, lads. Day out with Tommy. Okay, say hi to Tommy for us, Dave. Thanks for coming in. You know where you're going to go, Dave. You know, Dave. You're basically going to take him to the Warhammer store and the takeout place to get noms. Day out. It's just Warhammer and takeaway. We know how it works. We know what he'll want to do. <laughs> so, yeah, I could stream in 4K, but like I say, it's just doing it in 1080 the game itself is playing in 4k i'm just it's outputting from the xbox at 1080p going into it's streaming from the pc it's streaming from the xbox to pc through my home network so it's all wired uh that's 1080p to the xbox app on the computer streamlabs is then picking up the feed from the computer and it's because i've got two monitors it's just picking up one monitor and then that's streaming it to youtube and that's all 1080p and it ju it's just a bit more reliable at 1080p it tends to fall over less but I do miss out on the HDR I might try don't you be going too fast I've gone slow enough there you go I might try doing a 4k stream next time see what happens if I can sort my streaming software out it should be all right um, what's happening in chat? Nothing happening in chat at the minute. What time are we on? Uh, ooh, 11 o'clock. Have fun tomorrow. Hi, Tommy. Yeah, say hi to, to, to Tommy from me, Dave. Should be a beautiful, beautiful ammonia world. Yeah. Now, theoretically, ammonia worlds are the, means these are the systems where you're more likely to find Thargoids, because they apparently live on ammonia worlds. <coughs> I've never seen a Thargoid yet. Probably won't out here in the middle of nowhere, either. Uh, Quantum Man says, if anyone puts a video stream out in 1080p, my telly turns into a 4K image in the HDR that you're not getting. I am seeing it anyways. Um, you won't be getting true HDR because there's no HDR encoded into the signal. It might be fudging HDR 12 probes. Good God. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops. Seven, eight, nine. We'll see how those do. Yeah, you, it it's upscaling it to ten eight to ten eight p to four k, so it's not true four k, and it won't have HDR. It, you can't add HDR to a signal when there isn't HDR in there. Um, if I streamed it in in full four k, which I can do, I would assume it would include the HDR. But I don't know if my streaming software would include the HDR, but it would make it four k. Right, what have I got here then? I've got uh, all kinds of... Oh, I didn't want to do that. I pressed the wrong button. That's a waste of a probe. Okay, I've got all kinds of shenanigans going on here. What the hell? Uh, let's try that. I'm not going to get the 12 target. I don't think. Don't think I'm going to get the 12 target. Uh, got one. Let's try there. And one there. We'll do one there. Do -do 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 -do. Whereas if I was broadcasting in 4K and with HDR, you'd get a beautiful 4K HDR image. But yeah, it can't add HDR if there's no actual HDR in the signal. Oh, come on. Three more percent. Two more percent. One more percent. Oh, you cheap. Oh. It's just cheap. Oh, I've done it again. I pressed fire when I didn't mean to. Gosh darn it. Right, that's annoying now. Uh, we need to go closer to it and find the... I launched a probe, but I didn't want to launch. Okay, that's there. There, right. Stop. Stop. Probe that, you bugger. Only 1%. Oh, it's not 
One percent. Come on. That didn't go where I was supposed to go. Boom! There it is. Target 12 probes. I use 16. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> right, next system. Speedy Curator says space. That's all I came to say. Space, space, space. Hey, hey, lady, 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 hey, lady, lady. Space, 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 space. space. Let's go space. Wanna go space? Wanna go space? Space, space. Let's go space now. Space, space, space. Lady, 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 lady. Hey, lady, lady, lady. Space, 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 space. I love that game. Spinny Circle says Adsta. Hey Mike, just chilling with a coffee and a Henderson's relish on tiger bread. Hectic day, says Spit. Spares. Let's see what the system brings us. That's two ammonia worlds in a row. I like that. I'm in a happy mood now. You can tell by the fact I'm talking even more. Okay, what kind of star is this? This is a... T-Tori? Yeah, I can't, I can't scoop fuel from it. It's a T-Tori. There's nothing here worth scanning because it's only got one thing in it. Let's just move on to the next star. Drive charging. Let's move on! How many jumps have I got left? 82 to my target destination. Which is a random destination. I don't know why my volume meters have stopped working. They seem to do that. It's very strange. Do 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 do. Yeah. Bit of scoopy scoopy. There you go. System scale. Fuel scooping. There's nothing worth scanning in this system, so I'll just scoop and go. Fuel scooping complete. Mm -hmm. Frameshift drive charging. Do 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 Friendship drive charging. Early bed shortly then off with me bro for new noms tomorrow says so Spit. Cool. Noms is good. Brothers is good. Combining both is a win-win. Ooh, T to our right again. So I'm not going to be able to scoop that. System scan. Where's my next thing? One thing in the system, so nothing to scan. Because it's just going to be the star itself. On to the next one. Have you tried turning off the flight assist? I accidentally turned it off yesterday and the ship got so spinny I wanted to vomit. Uh, yes, I, I. there is a very good time to use to turn flight assist off. Uh, I'll do this jump first. Uh, there is one time you want to turn it off. I'll show you in a minute when we get to the system. So, uh, flight assist is always on. However, there is one time you want to not use it. I'm just going to slow down and come out of Super Cruise because the only, the only reason you need to use it is not in Super Cruise. There's only really one reason you want to not have flight assist on. Frame oh, no, drive that's not what I wanted. Drive no, I want to come out of Super Cruise. Right, so, when you're flying around normally, this is just normal thrusters, I'm going at like, you know, maybe, I don't know, a couple hundred miles an hour. This is just using the rockets. And by default, 
uh, flight assist is on. And what flight assist does is, if you see me there, if I turn left, my thrusters come on. And when I take my hand off the throttle, they go off. I'll turn that barrel. So, like you see there, when I take my hand off them, you'll see, if I'm going left like that, when I take my hand off, the thrusters on the right... Let me move the camera up a bit. Hang on. Right, there it's better. So when I go left, watch the thrusters on the right when I take my hand off the stick. They put a little bit of thrust and they stop you spinning. If I do it there to the right, watch the thrusters on the left when I take my hand off the stick. There, they just... It's automated process. Basically, if you turn one way and take your hand off the stick, you stop moving. Now, in reality, in space, that's not true. If I turn left in space and take my hand off the stick, I would continue turning left forever. And that's what happens when you turn flight assist off. Flight assist off. So if I turn, if I, if I, you're, uh, let's say I turn left now, there's nothing to stop me. I'm just going to go forever. So if I put the other camera on, I'm just spinning forever. If I go the other way, I'll turn around. But I'll keep going forever because there's no, there's no opposing force to slow me down. It doesn't boost the uh, the thrusters on the other side. So if you see there, if I do it that way, it, there's no opposing thrust to slow me down. So all the flight assist does... Oops, I pressed a button. I don't know what that did. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I don't know what that did. Um, yeah, if I... Oh, that's weird. Let's put the normal camera back on. If I turn flight assist on, flight assist on, it just means if I turn, if I go in a direction, it'll stop me because it applies opposite force. Now, there's only one time you, I, I actually turn that off. If you're in combat and you're flying around, uh, and let's say someone flies towards you, like head on, and goes over the top of you that you're trying to shoot. The difficulty then is, if you want to turn round, you can drop your throttle down to half if you want to turn round. But some ships like this one, they turn round really slowly. There you can see the trail that I've just come from. They turn round really slowly to get to this point and back where we were. However, if you turn flight assist off, what you can do is full speed, pull back, flight assist off. Half it and then boost. And then when you get back where you want to be, there. You're now lined up and facing the guy that just flew over you. It's a good way to turn around really quickly. Always keep your throttle in the middle of the blue line, that gives you your maximum maneuverability. If you try and maneuver at full speed, it's quite slow. But if you drop it down to half, you'll go faster and you just. Put it off, boost, go a little bit faster, and bop it on, and there you are, you straight up. So, it's just a real good way of speeding up really fast. There's my trail, you can see it. It's a good way of moving really fast, basically. So that's the one time you want to turn it off. So, try and assign it to a button that you're not going to hit all the time. That's the trick. You don't want to have a button. That, I've got it on my Hota stick. I've got the I've got the hat button on the stick on the throat on the trigger. I've got the button in the middle of the where my thumb is on the top, which is missiles, and then the one on the right of that, which is hard to hit by accident, is the flight assist because I don't actually want to hit it if I have if I don't have to, and I very rarely have to use it. But it's great in combat. Uh, let's have a good night. Uh, Good night all, enjoy exploring strange new worlds and seeking out new takeaways and such, says Spid. Thanks for coming in, Spid. Lynn says, I'll definitely be getting this game. I'll be right back, gonna go and check my house to see if electric is turned on yet. <laughs> uh, right, what's in this system? Let's have a look at what's in this system. Uh, boring stuff, probably. Probably all boring things, but we'll scan them. It's all money in the bank. It's all jolly good money in the bank. <laughs> so yeah, flight assist is, is... I don't use it. I mean, there are some people that just fly with flight assist off all the time. And you can do. It just, you have to learn. Because that's how you would actually fly in space. Flight assist is like the fake way of doing it. 
you would have to learn that if you want to turn right, you turn right and then turn left at the end of the turn to stop yourself continuing to turn right. That's the only trick. So it's just a case, I'll just leave it off. Then the ship does that for you. It applies opposite thrust. It's like anything space. If you throw a spanner off a spaceship, it'll just go forward forever and ever and ever and never stop. Flight assist just adds opposing thrust. Newton's basic Newton's laws. An object in motion, yeah, blah, blah, and so on and so on and so on. Once you, once you understand... Remember I was saying earlier on about... Uh, the earlier show about... How like learning to play this game is hard, not because it's complicated, but because they don't explain anything in the tutorials. They really don't. I didn't even know what flight assist was. They don't even mention it that much. If they do, it's in passing. A lot of how you find out how to play this game, you learn off forums and just post on forums and videos on YouTube, like how to play this game videos on YouTube, which explain everything really well. If you want to watch some good how-to content, especially on YouTube, well, on YouTube, two of my favourite Elite Dangerous creators are Obsidian Ant, whose channel is just Obsidian Ant. Obsidian Ant, it's all one word. Obsidian as in the colour or the material, and Ant as in small creature. And also The Yamix, who is he's, he's just a crazy Latvian who just swears a lot and is really funny. I'm missing one item here, one object. Is it going to be behind the star? Is it going to be way up in the middle of nowhere? Middle of nowhere. Give me a glowy ball. I want a glowy ball. Not a Zoe ball. A glowy ball. Show me your glowy ball. Anywhere. It's going to be behind the star, isn't it? Well, I'm bored now anyway. It's probably nothing of any interest. Let's just see what we've got here first. Uh, we have... Uh, oh, terraforming, yes. Terraforming, yes. Terraforming. Okay, we've got two good things. Icy body, icy body, icy body, icy body. Okay, so we've got two terraformables, and I can't be bothered finding that last one because I just can't be bothered. So we'll go and find these two and give us a probe. A jolly good probing. I'm going to say night night for now if you end the stream before I get back. I had fun. Thank you very much, Lynn. You're more than welcome to come again. I'll do more, don't worry. I'll probably do like one a week or something. I'm going to be playing this game for a very long time. Because you know what? Be forever probing. Always be probing. <laughs> Always be probing. Interzone 88. Hi, Fox. Hi, all. Hi, Interzone. Uh, I was randomly hitting buttons to see what they did, and then the op turned off, and it took me ages to find where to put it back on. <laughs> yeah, if you hit a button and don't know what you've actually done, then you don't know how to turn it back on again, because you don't know which button you pressed. <laughs> Do make sure though you set up your controller to custom to how you want it. Don't just assume the, the custom control scheme is the easiest way to go, because it might not be. I tweak mine around quite a lot. Because there are some buttons I don't need. I didn't need the free look so I can do this. But after a while I realised I had a spare button assigning so I could actually do it. But you don't need to do that. There's lots of functions you won't need. Like I say, selecting next target, last target. I don't have any need for that because I could just do it manually. It's just as easy. So I decided to save myself the extra button assignments by just not bothering. Uh, this stream lasts longer than the E-Models one, says Jamie. Yeah, the E-Models one is um, just a couple of hours. This stream is, I would be playing this game anyway. Don't think of this as me streaming this game. This is me playing this game for fun and I just happen to be streaming it at the same time. And is it me or is that planet got a corner. It's weird. It's not quite circular because of the shadow. Um, if it's me streaming a video game, it's as long as I play the video game. One, two, three, four. Oops. Missed. Five. Six. Seven. Yeah, the model stream is just something we do for a couple of hours. 
TK's model says, really? It's February and there's a big black fly buzzing around the house. Time for the zapper. We've got midges in the house. We've got midges flying around. I had a fly the other day and I went outside today and I could hear the beautiful, beautiful song of a blackbird. And I'm like, it's February, you muppet. Why are you not like in Africa somewhere still or Syria or wherever you're supposed to be? What are you doing in <laughs> suburbs of Cheshire in the middle of February, you muppet? Probe! More probes for the probings! Yeah, so this is... I mean, if I'm playing the game, because this is... I'm taking... kind of took today as a day off, kind of... a decompressed video game day. And I literally would play this game all afternoon and all evening. So... The stream's going to last that long, basically. Why not? I know it's not going to get a lot of viewers. Not a lot of people are going to watch these. I've only got... what we've got now? 15 or 16 people watching? I don't expect these to have high viewing figures, and I don't really do it for that. I'm not really doing this to get the views, I'm just doing it because I would be playing the game anyway. So you guys may as well hang out with me. May as well hang out, I said it before, hang out with my fam while I happen to be playing games. It's more fun to have someone to talk to. And you guys are my fam. My, the MMG fam. I've also got a litre of tea, so really it'll be when the tea runs out. That's when I get grumpy. Uh, yeah, Blackbird's twittering here too, says Zadster. Quano Man says, I'm still on the scientific method of mash like a monkey on all the buttons. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. All the birds here think it's May or something, says TK. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Quano Man, it really is worth going in and just looking at all the control assignments and just changing them. One thing you might not know, though, uh, here's something for you. When you go into your options, it doesn't tell you this. Go into your options, go into controls. First of all, in graphics, I'll show you things that people don't realise. First of all, there's a field of view setting. Uh, there's also things like dashboard brightness. You can change the setting here from 4K. I won't do it because it'll reset the game, but 4K, 1080p and so on. Um, performance. I've got it set on quality because it's 4K when I play normally. If if you're on a console, you can just set it to quality. You don't get any real frame rate issues or anything like that. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, in audio, you've got fairly various controls. But in controls, the one thing they don't tell you when you go in here, you've got all these different controls. If you hit the, depending on what keys you've got set, if I hit A key with my thumb, it expands the menu. But you, it doesn't tell you how to expand. When there's a little plus, like here, say, like flight rotation, there's a little plus next to it. Flight thrust, there's a plus next to it. The plus means there's a menu in there. So if I click A, it expands alternate flight controls. And you see all these. But what it doesn't tell you anywhere is how you then expand these menus, because they've got little pluses next to them. To expand these, you have to press Y. And you get more options. It doesn't tell you that anywhere. Now, with the the Thrustmaster T Hotus T1 or whatever it's called, you will need to set some dead zones. Uh, let's have a look. So, uh, when you get into say maybe not flight rotation, but uh, flight, th what have I got? I don't really want to go into it too much because it's really confusing to just watch somebody do it. But some of these settings have like for the stick have uh, like a, a dead zone. Uh, I don't want flight throttle. Let's have a look. I don't know which one it is now. Flight rotation. Your axis. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <sighs> do, do, do. I may have changed something. Let me go back and change that. Cancel that. Uh, right, I need to make sure I cancel that. Because I don't want to change anything. Uh... Flight rotation, dead zone. So you can see here on the yaw axis, which is your left and right yaw, uh, I've got the dead zone set to about there. Uh, and wherever you've got like the, the right hand stick control for yaw and roll and pitch, you want to have a bit of a dead zone like that. Because what you'll find 
roll your own pitch. With this how to stick, there is a twiddly knob on the bottom where you can set how tight the stick is to move, the right hand stick. But there is a bit of a dead zone. So if you're sitting there and you're not you're not moving, but you find your ship is rolling to the left or right or yawing to the left or right a little bit just by itself, it means you need to increase the dead zone because it can be super sensitive. So if you start to you see yourself moving around and you're not actually moving the stick, the stick's at rest in the middle and it's moving to the left or right, just increase your dead zone and maybe loosen. I find having the stick quite loose helps, bizarrely. Uh, so there you go. But yeah, the, the trick is if you want to expand a menu, press A. If you want to expand the expanded menu, press Y. And it doesn't tell you that anywhere. It's a right pain. There's a lot of things you'll have to find out by actually doing it, going to forums and things like that. What was in the middle of doing? I've got no idea now. Uh, let's go to the next system. Got to go, everyone. Up early in the morning, night all. Thanks for coming in, Dad. Take care of yourself, matey. Uh, TK says the sky raisin has been fried and eaten. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? What's a sky raisin? I don't understand. Have I have I missed a joke there? Perhaps. Drive charging. I can't help thinking perhaps I've missed something there. So yeah, the HOTUS 1 stick is really, really good if you're on Xbox. You just do need to tweak your dead zones and the, the tightness knob at the bottom just to get it comfortable. So it's not it's not rolling or pitching or yawing by accident when you're not actually moving the stick. But there's a lot of functions you won't need ever to use, so you can just not act to set them to buttons. And if you try and assign a button to a function and it's already assigned to something else, it does a good job of telling you, say, hey, this is already set to something else. Are you sure you want to change it? So you're not going to screw anything up. Right, we've got, what's that? Is that gas giant? It's a boring system, but we'll see what we've got. Might get a couple of terraform balls, you never know. Let's have a look and see what we've got in the space place. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. It's got brown rings and white rings and it's a really weird colour. Icy body. Knew a girl like that once. Definitely an icy body that one. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Lots of little metal content worlds which I'm not really bothered about because they're not metal rich. Not metal content. Oops, oops. Rocky body. Love it. High metal. Oops. A couple here, I think. There's a gas giant. Oh, look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? With water based life. Look at those colours. It's beautiful. Who says brown is boring? Brown can be gorgeous. Do <laughs> This one, it's gonna be a rocky body. Yep, yeah, rocky body. I knew a girl like that as well. In fact, the one that had the icy body was kind of a rocky body at the same time. It was, it was, it was never, a, never destined for greatness. That relationship. <laughs> yeah. You know, one of those relationships where you're always wrong. It's always your fault, and you're always wrong. Uh, high metal terraformable. No, 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 no terraforms. A that one's terraformable. We'll be having that. That's the only one. Uh, any of these? I'm going to assume nothing now and assume that some of these might be useful. Uh, 
I see body. There we go. We've got one terraformable. That'll do. I'll get some cash for that, so that'd be good. Get some good money for terraformables. You can take a cheap, nasty body that you don't care about and make it something profitable. Sky raisin equals dog words for fly. Oh, right. The sky raisin has been fried and eaten. I've got you. Ah. Oh. So it's, I like that. TK's puppy dog considers flies and sky raisins. <laughs> Uh, Quino Man says, cool, I just realised what I'm going to be playing around with over the next day or two. Oh, yeah. Jamie Barron says, Fox should have named his spaceship Jar Jar Transformer. No. Earl D says, loving this dreadnought, nice chilled paint. Yeah. Jamie's building the, uh, the dreadnought. As his dad. Oh, dad's gone now, though, is he? He's gone to bed. Jamie's building the dreadnought. Some sky raisin. <laughs> I like that. For those that don't know, TK's got the world's biggest puppy. Uh, and she is just like dumb as a bag of hammers. And totally adorable. Normally it's cats that eat flies. I wouldn't even know a dog could catch. How come I can't. Oh, you know, I don't, then again, no, he's, he's probably got the electric zapper, hasn't he? So that's why it's been fried and eaten. There you go. I was thinking he might have caught the fly, but dogs don't catch flies. Cats catch flies. Earl D, uh, Jamie Bones asking Earl D if he's going to do any dry brushing on the Dreadnought. Earl D says, going to glaze the highlights in. There you go, Jamie. There's a nice advanced technique for you. It's a technique that they won't show you in the magazines, guarantee you. Six probes. One, two, three, four, five. Now, whilst having a conversation, uh, I've been speaking over the last week or so with um, uh, some of the Hachette team, some of the team at Hachette, one of the guys from the Hachette publishing team. A really nice guy, he's sending me um, the first issue of the Terminator Service. build, and he's also arranged for, he used to work at Titan Comics, and he's arranging for them to send me some Warhammer comics that I didn't even know were a thing. So that should be cool. But he was uh, asking for feedback, just asking for feedback on the whole Warhammer series. And I was saying, I know there's nothing you can do now, but if there was any way you could like add an extra issue that perhaps just covered off some more advanced techniques, so that people who, because it's aimed at absolute beginners, and if you've never painted anything before, then following the guides in the magazines, although it'll be simple, it'll still be a good paint job. If you've never painted before, you'll kind of still like it. But it'd be nice for those of us who are a bit more advanced, or for those of you know people who read it are a bit more advanced, to have an issue where it says, if you want some more slightly more advanced techniques, here's how to do glazes and all the effects and things. Because they're not going to show you that. And I don't think they'll add anything at the end, but I have seen part works before where they've added extra issues after the fact, just to cover off some bits and bobs. So I said, you know, if there's any chance they could do that. It doesn't even have to come with anything, just a couple of extra issues where they show you how to do some advanced techniques, that'd be great. Also, if you've been able to spread out the pox walkers a bit, that would have been nice. But hey. Really nice chat though, that I've been speaking to. Good people at Hachette. that has been speaking to them over the last few days. Seem like a good crowd. Do 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 do. And nothing worth nothing worth keeping hold of in there. Frame shift drive charging. Frame shift drive charging. Uh, been stung several times too, but doesn't learn from the hurts, says TK. Yeah, the bee, bees and things, they always eat things that can stab them and then they eat the next one next time. Uh, I did fry this one with the electric zapper thing, but it was still moving. <laughs> Until the dog ate it. Uh, definitely the mini gun and how do you glaze, says Jamie. Glazing is a whole advanced technique. Um, I would recommend Jamie. I will show how to do some glazes when I do the advanced techniques on, say, like, uh, well, maybe on Agent Calcium. I don't know yet. On Lieutenant Calcium. I don't know what I'm going to do on him. It is something I will show on the some of the more advanced builds, but it's going to be a while. So I would recommend uh, going on the YouTubes and just looking up 
um, glazing. Now look up specifically miniature painting glazing because it's there are different types of glazing and not all of them are relevant. Glazing on miniatures is using very, very, very thin paint. I mean really thin paint to build up colour transitions and fades from one colour to another. Um, and it's usually thinning the paint with something like uh, Pledge or Lamian Medium or a, a, a paint medium of some sort, not water. It's using a medium and the paint really super thin to do colour fades and shades. Just to change basically from one colour to another or to get, you know, forget from a dark colour to a lighter version of that colour. It's not something you can explain in a couple of lines or a quick explanation it's something you really have to see done to understand it so do go and have a look on youtube i can't think of anybody straight off that i would say is the best person to to give you an example of um uh i know miniac has done a thing about glazing i think uh i, I haven't done one yet i've not done a video about glazing uh miniac's got one i think that's nice uh, I think Dr. Faust has done some. I don't. Well, I don't know actually. I think Dr. Faust may have mentioned. I don't know if he's done a, a specific tutorial on it. It's always worth checking out his stuff. Uh, who else has done it? I'm trying to think who else has specifically done glazing. I can't think off the top of my head. Just, I mean, do a YouTube search and just search for mini miniature painting glazes or how to glaze and things like that. You'll you'll find it. Uh, was there anything worth scanning in there? I don't think there was. It's all gas giants, isn't it? Uh, no. No. No, nothing in there that I want. Frame shift drive charging. The old Deese is trying to explain it in words and then says, God damn, this is hard to explain in words. I wouldn't bother, LD. It's impossible to explain in words. Um, you have to... I, somebody tried to explain it to me in words and I couldn't figure it out until I actually saw someone do it. And once I saw someone do it, it made perfect sense. Jamie Bone says, time to go now, early start in the morning. Thanks for coming by, Jamie. Tabletop Minions have a good guide. Oh yeah, Tabletop Minions, I forgot about that. Uh, Tabletop Minions is Pro Painter, whatever his name is, I can't remember. He tells you how to do glazes as well, so go and check that out. Fuel scooping. The difficulty with glazing and trying to explain it is that the first thing that comes to mind when you think glazing is glossy surface and shiny things. It's nothing to do with that at all. It's nothing at all to do with making a shiny surface. What have we got here? Boring, boring, boring and some gas giants. We'll, we'll scan them anyway. But yeah, it is impossible to actually explain in words. It's now impossible. There's no, there's no point ever doing a written guide to doing it because you just can't. You have to see it done to understand, to pass it and understand exactly what the point is. Not least because, like I say, glazing. When you say glazing, you think of like glazing on a donut. You think of making a, a shiny covering. It's nothing to do with that at all. I might make this the last system. What time are we on? We're on quarter to midnight. I might make this the last system and then get all these mapped and scanned, see what there is. And then call it a night, I think. Uh, might be nothing here. Might be maybe a, terrest a terraformable maybe. gas giant in here I think. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> oh my microphone meters have come back again. I don't know why they go off and on sometimes. They sort of turn themselves off every now and then. At least I know you can hear me now.
Ugh, these things. That'll mess up me UI for the next two minutes. Thanks, Obama. Gas giant. Yeah. Have a look at chat in a second. <laughs> System scan complete. There we go. Let's have a quick look at what we've got. What do we have? We have gas giant. Blah, 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 blah. Don't care about those. Gas giant. Water-based life. Don't care about any of those. Little rocky bodies. This is high metal content, but not terraformable. And then none of that is interesting. Okay, so nothing in that system. Well, what we'll do, we'll have a quick look at chat, see what chat's doing. And then I think we'll call it quits. Let's have a look. Uh, tabletop minions have a good guy. Says LD, I'm only glazing the red on the gun metal. I'm just doing edges. We're going to over exaggerate them and some chips. Okay. Cool. Right, well, I think what we're going to do, chaps and chapesses, I think we'll call it a night. It's coming up to midnight. Quarter to midnight. Thank you so much for sort of sticking with me for today. I say it's a bit weird doing these game streams all day, but I was going to spend the day doing this anyway. So it's nice to hang out with you guys while I'm doing it. Thank I'll just turn the music down a little bit. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Um, I'm stay tuned for the first U-boat video, which will be coming next day or two, hopefully. I've just got to get all that edited together. Uh, again, like I've said before, the U-boat build won't take too long, and once that's done, it's time for the Master Grade Cesarbi Vercar. So do stick out, stick around for that. That will be a Patreon exclusive build, uh, but I'll do little videos for non-patrons. Uh, don't forget, of course, 20,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, video posted up yesterday. Go and check it out on the channel. I'm giving away a Vercar Master Grade New Gundam uh, to for you to build. And all you need to do is watch the video uh, and find out what you need to do. That's it. It's a little two-minute video. Go and watch it. It'll tell you what you need to do. You can win it. I'll be pulling a winner on the 1st of March. And like I said, it's a Master Grade Vercar New Gundam at 80 quid with the kit. Absolutely free. So go and check it out. Uh, until that, if you'd like to support this channel, as always, don't forget you can support me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash model making guru. The address is at the bottom of the screen. I depend on my uh, patrons and my, uh, you know, for my support. This is my job. I do this for my living. Uh, if you can't support me on there, don't panic. You can support me in other ways. You can make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button. That would be brilliant. Uh, also, don't forget to like videos every time you watch one. If you can... If you're able, if, if the only way you can support is through adverts, then just make sure if you watch one of my videos, if there is an advert at the start, just let it go through the advert, let it go through to the end. That helps me out massively because that gives me a little bit of ad revenue. So even if that's all you can do, that's still brilliant. So I still thank you for that. And don't forget, last of all, go and join the Model Makers Boom Hut, uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash model boom hut. It's an awesome place to hang out. Everybody in there is super awesome. Uh, have a quick last look at chat. Good night, all nighty nights. Ooh, sexy new Gundam says LD. Yeah, if you haven't entered that already, get entering it. First of March, I'll pull the winner. But until then, it just remains for me to say thank you so much for watching tonight. Take care of yourselves. I'll get some more content up in the next few days. And until then, I've I really must sort out some kind of thing for this, but I haven't got one, so I'll just give you the countdown clock. Take care of yourselves, guys. Go make something awesome. Go be awesome. And until next time, adios, amoebas. Oh, I'll turn the volume on that down. <laughs> Bye.